Meet Mulebeheng. She lives in Lesotho. Together with her siblings, they've had to experience the harshness of life too early. I did a call at Shokahal. Can I start a little more on a feeling in all cities? Car, but watch, Melin Daddy. Memoir got the men's and let's go up on a hotel. It is now three months since Mulebeheng's mother left. At only 17 years old, Mulebeheng being the eldest of his siblings, it means they are without the means of income, making their daily survival difficult. These are a group of women who have been empowered by World Vision. They are moved to respond to child vulnerabilities in their communities. It is this vulnerabilities that expose Mulebuheng and her siblings to potential harm. Little did she know that a straw to the shop is actually a hook to abduct her into an early marriage. Kolo ila zamai, ila fila, spike nso muno utu ki berea. Hai fila berea, ile ya ema ka hako humoku, o na li lungo, ka ka lungo pili na li mungu. Ponda te ma beji, ba yi pa ba te mo wa ba wakene re na le bona. Kisete li me ka kolo yin kile ba beji. Ki mo hui leung hatla ha, bo abuti ba ba beji. Kile <laughs> um, we're here in, in Lesotho where I've had an opportunity, where I have an opportunity to meet with Malabahang, um, a, a 16 year old girl who not only has been taught about how a child marriage and uh, the legal frameworks about child marriage, but has very personally experienced being abducted with the intent of her being married off. Her knowledge though was what enabled her to report to the police to make sure that she was, she was released and report to her, her traditional leader. So this linkage from the African Union's policies, 
legal frameworks, these are so crucial, but only when they're actually making an impact in children's lives. And that's where World Vision, working alongside the African Union, working alongside our governments, police, traditional leaders, faith leaders, actually make that change so that children like Molibahang are not married off today. <laughs> Kabit <laughs> Okay. <coughs> <coughs>